So, um, Hype was gracious enough to uh, record uh, Fist of Furry for us, and I'll, um, let it back to him twofold with the sequel, Tom and Jerry in The War of the Whiskers for the GameCube. Yeah. Come on, Type. How many people worked on this game? Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. Yeah, they, they, they want to make a big enough impression that the War of the Whiskers literally right there in front of your face. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, yep. welcome uh, to the sequel to Space Furry, where, again, it's pretty much a straight-up brawler where you can play as Tom or Jerry and a whole bunch of their other friends whose names I keep forgetting. <laughs> so, and also, as also to a favor, Jim, because he personally requested me to uh, pick Jerry, because he already picked Tom for the uh, Fist of Furry um, look at mini commentary. Jerry! Yeah, I figured it was only fair. So, um, gameplay is somewhat um, similar to the original game. It's a little more, it's a little more fluid, and, uh, well, there were some <laughs> nice improvements to put in the game, like that ground slam attack, which is broken as all get out. Yes, it really it is. is. And they even, like, I gotta say, for oh. for what may may as well just be a simple expansion to Fist of Fury, they did add quite a bit into it, like a new new improved soundtrack, new levels. They even added a few new characters, which I may or may not show off. Later. Ice, ice. And there's also a new mechanic in the form of the Berserk. Yep. Basically, you're you're damn near unflinchable, and you deal more damage. Wow. Oh jeez, Jerry's pissed off here at the left. Yep. Oh, nice. Yay. He's had enough of Tom shit. Tom and I gotta say, I love how this game pretty much has the announcer rub it in your face whenever you lose. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like, the icons for when they activate their Berserk mode sometimes look weird. Yeah. Agreed. Very much so. Just... I mean, Tom and Jerry the characters being angry is one thing, but then you see the characters that normally don't look angry, and it's like, are they... Where, what planet are they from? Hey, yeah. Spike. Hey, hey Spike. Spike. So, um... Thankfully, unlike Pistopher, I think all the characters play more or less the same. They have a three-hit combo, and they still have their ground slam attack, which is Ow. convenient, I guess. Because, again, uh -huh. I think Spike was the only one that had some an attack like that. And you can yeah, still grab was. items for your convenience. And whenever you do that ground slam attack, some health, some health packets do pop up, and you can collect it for yourself. There you go. Yeah, the the health packets thing was also a thing in Fist of Furry. My apologies <laughs> for not pointing yeah, that Jer out. Yeah. Jerry's really lost it for for all for all the six years of abuse he took from Tom. Nice. Oh wow, no, that ground slam breaks through guards. Dang. <laughs> yup. By that point, you want to watch yourself. So this definitely is just basically looking like a. This basically is just looking like a better, like, kind of just like a little poured-up upgrade to the original. Hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah kind of much. <laughs> were there any other... Were, were there any... What, what was that tournament mode we saw earlier? Oh, the tournament mode? Um, it's basically... A, what's the ceiling? I didn't say anything. Oh, that, uh, that, was, thought... that, was, that, was, that was hype making a noise for the duckling. Yeah, it was. <laughs> no, I guess it sounded so much like Sealy, because I... Well, anyway. <laughs> so... Yeah, all the char all the characters from uh, Fist the Furry do return, and um, again they do bring in a few new ones. Though I think they only bring in two new ones. Uh, the uh, lot the lion character from the one short where we escaped from the zoo, and oh. the hawk character, which had a very big boner for Tom when he was in a hawk girl disguise. No. Eagle, technically, but yeah. Oh, no. oh yeah, there's and um, yeah, just yeah, and just like uh, Fist the Furry, you can also charge up how far how hard you swing you fling your items in. I think that does more damage as a result. It does. Uh, how many, how many, uh, up to how many, up to how many players could this support, especially on the GameCube? Okay, so, um, I remember in Fist of Fury, it was, you could only do, like, two players. For this game, for the sequel, they, like, they have a full-on four-player matchup mode. Though that, right, be, that say, you can yeah. only really experience when you're, well, playing, like, an exhibition or tournament mode. For the, for the single-player campaigns, you're, it's just strictly one-on-one -on -one fights. All right, mm -hmm. and, oh, and yeah, Tom and the Tom and Jerry games had no shame when it comes to um, parodying other popular movie titles. Who is it? Butch. Like any oh, franchise. Butch. Hey, Butch. I completely forgot about Butch. Such is. But um, what else was I gonna say? Um, crap! I think I lost my train of thought. We were, oh, were talking about the four player and the tournament mode and uh... Oh oh I remember now. Um unlike unlike what Hype did, where he just went through the whole whole shebang, no no sort of enhan uh, changes in the gameplay rules aside. I changed it in this game this game this uh, campaign's case where I only had to worry about doing one uh one round per match. Because honestly, 
you've already seen a good chunk of these all these characters beating the living shit out of each other. I just want to just sh mm -hmm. just show off like the unique parts of it. Like Butch about to be, be eaten by sharks. Uh, wow. Down he goes. And also, the only reason that I went with three rounds instead of one round is because a part of me was feeling unsure whether the recording curse would be my end during that recording session. And we're already at the final level of the campaign, Franken Mouse. At this point, you're pretty much you will pretty much fight either one of two bosses. In Jerry's case, he shall be fighting easily the most broken character in the game, the Robot Cat. Robot Cat. Ready? Meow. Yep, the robot cat from those ever so lovable Tom, uh, Chuck Jones shorts. I like Basically, the, the whole shorts. Th the whole thing with the robot cat is that he has this one special attack where he literally spin. Yeah, they're pretty Ooh. good for the most part. Um, but yeah, the, the cat the cat in the way is kind of annoying because his main special attack is that he can he turn around. He pretty much does a spinning flamethrower maneuver, which makes him completely untouchable for a time, and he can spam this whenever he wants. And it lasts a good while, too. Ooh, yeah, it does. But, but Jerry thankfully made short work of him. Because mm -hmm. he ain't having this shit today. Bah, 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 bah. So yay, we beat yay. we beat the game. That means we get, that means it's the end of the look at, right? Actually, no, I decided to show off a few uh, exhibition matches. Or quick games, rather. And this is where I'll pretty much show off the show off the uh, rest of the characters that that this game provides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like the original game, you unlock them all by being every character in single player mode. Oh yeah, by the way, don't mind the demon possessed Jerry you see there. Yeah, I was gonna say about that thing. He is actually the boss you fight fight in the campaign if you're playing as the likes of Tom, uh, Butch, or the Lion of all characters. And Spike. Okay. Never so really can, understood the correlation, but okay. So we can choose all our different maps and things. I mean, it looks pretty decent. I mean, it's simplistic. That punches and dragons. I mean, um, I, I mean, it's a simplistic thing. It's Tom and Jerry. They're not supposed to have complicated stories. Nope. I mean, if they're gonna have complicated stories, at least give a shit about them and actually keep the focus where it belongs, and not focus on a completely random yep. character. Jeez, enraged who just... Jerry has quite the combo. Yeah, <laughs> Monster Jerry, as the as the game calls him, is a tank. Yeah. Now, if you're now in the campaign, it actually runs the exact same rule set of uh, Fist of Fury, where after a while he will revert back to regular Jerry, and uh, by that point, you, it'll be be a while before he turns back into this. And oh no, Butch has already gone and down. Oh. Tom is on his own. Can he possibly take down two behemoths at the same time? Yeah, I, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, I was gonna say, I thought, I thought Monster Jerry was the villain at the end of Fist of Fury. Well, he's the main villain of this game too. It's just again, you have to be Tom or Butch or the Lion in order to face him. Well, who, who would who would Tom fight? I just well, said you, Monster you said, Jerry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought you said Butch. Who does Jerry fight? The robot uh, cat. We just fought him already. The monster, the robot cat. Oh right, right, right. Sorry. Sorry, I got all confused. Oh, 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 to be fair, you were you, you you did disappear for a bit there, so I don't blame you for entirely forgetting. Full, disclo full disclosure, I had to like step away for a minute. Uh -huh. but, uh, it's okay. There you go. Almost you all did. Oh wow! wow. Damn. <laughs> Tom definitely took some lessons after his fists of hurry. Oh, I love the animation that Butch has. Butch is like, I earned this. It's a very good Butch. <laughs> that would totally be in Butch's character. Well, okay. whatever character he goes for at the time, and I think I do show game. off. I do show off uh, one more quick game for the hell of it, so I can show off the other characters that I couldn't in this uh, run through. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's my boy. That's my boy. My boy. And we're literally gonna beat the shit out of them. And an eagle. Uh, that scrapyard, yeah. <laughs> and. That's the most fucked up thing. Whenever you're doing a matchup and you're literally pitting Spike and Tyke against each other. Like, Spike, well, because he's flipping his opponents off. <laughs> <laughs> work, work. <Aww. laughs> it's and gonna be a bad day. Yep. Uh, the, the father and son bonding we've all been waiting for all of these 40 plus years. Let's just try and spare Tyke and, like, let's not pit Spike against him just yet. Oh, jeez. Well, <laughs> okay. what? Whoops. Well, that was probably the most appropriate reaction I could imagine if Tyke decided to punch his old man. I don't think butt. he has much say in the matter. 
I'm sorry, my boy. This is gonna hurt you more than it's gonna hurt me. I was gonna say, like, I was like, wait, what? I was gonna say, uh, but I was gonna say, yeah, <laughs> the timing. Let's just not hurt him. Dude. Get smacked in the butt. All <laughs> bets are off now. Oh, uh, nipples yeah. is mad now. And now it's and now it's time to time to call on child care services. Mm-hmm. Just be careful of the scrapyard. Whoa. Oh. Eat your heart oh, no. out, Fist of Fury. You wish you had this four-player action. So, how is the uh, environmental destruction like? You know, I'm noticing there's a lot of environmental hazards. Oh gosh, the baby, the baby, the baby, the baby, the baby. So, uh, what were you saying, Logan? Uh, environmental effects. Like, how do you activate them? Do you just need to go near them, or do they happen automatically? They, uh, they happen. Back. I think they happen Ooh. automatically. Oh, uh, and I, I was actually, I was actually hoping to throw them in, or throw them in the, the crusher. Again. But, which is, or, excuse me, t uh, Spike is just way too strong for it. So, we'll just settle with this regular Actually, it's funny slam. you mentioned the throwing gems, because I think that's also a new mechanic in this game. Where's ours? What, the, environment, the environmental damage? No, throwing characters. Oh. What's he doing to the ground? <laughs> he's, just, okay. he's, just, he's, wow. he's just asserting his, he's just asserting his dominance. Okay. But um, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, hope you all enjoyed our little look at and, uh, or excuse me, mini commentary of Tom and Jerry in War of the Whiskers. I mean, and I'm not even kidding too about mini commentary because um, you could literally unlock everything in this game within an hour or so. Probably. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. With that said, um, thank you all for watching. I'm James Mainstream. Lucky Jack Twenty. Hi, I'm Princess Lita. Hey, something is burning in here. <laughs> <laughs> He set his soul on fire. Not just a little spot, but a roaring flame. Until <laughs> next time, everybody. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye. See ya.